Pippa, did you hear they're making a sequel to Passion of the Christ? To Christ, to Passion! <gasps> to Christ, to Passion! That's an amazing title! Come on, today, boys. It's not bullying. It's constructive criticism. How, how about... How about... There's nothing constructive about you. You are a blight on society. And you do nothing but deconstruct. You are to art... Or you are to life what critics are to arts. Bang! You know, chat? I don't understand why critics are held in, like, such a high regard, if that makes sense. Because I feel like... Look at all these fucking bombs they set up to try and fucking make you die. Because it feels like... Now, maybe I... Maybe, oh, man! Maybe I'm the one that doesn't get it. I probably am the one that doesn't get it. They were useful once. I feel like they're not useful anymore, right? Now that the internet's a thing and anybody can leave a review, I feel like critics are just really annoying people that have based their entire existence around... Or their, enti their entire career around whether or not they like something. And like, I can understand if like the value somebody gets out of them is if they're one of the critics where they're like, oh, tasteful use of symbolism. Uh, the, the meaning of this blah, blah, blah was explored thoroughly. Blah, blah, blah. Right? Like the ones, the ones that actually give like an in-depth like this this is potentially like what this meant and and here's like an exploration of the themes and blah 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 right like the people that provide like a thorough analysis of it i think it's fine but red letter media and people people that just like riff on something for fun right i also understand that but there's also like this very big tip of display sorry but there's also just like this very big gap between those two kinds of people where it's like the rotten tomatoes critics and shit right where they just like rate something based on like a scale and they give like 500 characters or less about why something was or was not shit. You guys know what I mean? You guys know what I mean? I just don't understand it. And they, and they get held to such high regard and shit. And I just don't get it. They're paid shills now? Why would you save in the line of fire? Why would you not shut the fuck up when I didn't ask for your opinion? All right? How about that? How about that? Why would you... Why, why are you even speaking? How about that? How about that, bitch? How about that? Okay? Maybe we all have issues. Fuck! Especially games critics. I feel like games critics are like some of the most useless people of them all, right? Especially the ones that give shit like The Last of Us super high rating. And I don't want that to just be because like, oh my god, but the last... Oh, I did like, oh my god, Peppa, you, you hate The Last of Us because now it's trendy to hate The Last of Us. But like, unironically, can we stop making games that are just basically movies? Because holy shit, they fucking suck. Holy shit, games that take a backseat. Here, I'm gonna go really controversial. Any game that takes a backseat to the story or to graphics... I think it's gonna be a dog shit game, all right? It's why I don't enjoy Red 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 Dead Redemption 2. All right, there you go, there you go. I, I, I espouse... Oh, okay, I, I have the normal opinion. The Last of Us sucks. People who rate it highly are stupid. But then also, Red Dead Redemption, the fucking single player campaign, such a fucking slog, so fucking boring. I don't wanna play a fucking movie. I don't, I don't. It's so miserable. It's so fucking miserable. I'm tired of games going that direction. I am so fucking tired of video games being movies. I don't like it. I don't like walking simulators and I don't like movies. The only time I like a walking simulator is when it's like a it's like a horror game that makes for good stream content. But like as an actual fucking like player of the video games, they're garbage. They're garbage. I feel like there's like just this genre of game that only exists to be good stream content. And it is shit like The Last of Us, right? Because it's basically a fucking watch along. But imagine like actually enjoying video games, like playing them yourself personally, and then giving shit like uh, The Last of Us, like a 10 out of 10. It's just, it's just nonsense to me. It's just nonsense to me. Literally, The Last of Us only exists to be played by Let's Players and streamers. The party thing to do, I thought the Metro 2023, I think, is an exception. I haven't played it. Stray? Fuck Stray. Fuck Stray, chat. I don't care that it's got a cute cat on it. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody was obsessing over Stray. You guys are saying base to that? I'm fucking amazed you guys are saying base to that because so many people, my timeline was fucking flooded with that stupid fucking cat game. Holy shit! I don't understand it. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't fucking understand it, chat. I don't. Who's out there, Gun Victi? It was dull. It was. It was really fucking boring. It was really fucking boring. It's not a good game. It's not a good game. I'm sorry. Sounds like a Coco Kiri thing on one door. Sounds like you'd love the Yakuza games. Oh, my God. I have been meaning to play Yakuza. I have Yakuza Zero. The Sparrow thing, the Stanley Parable, though. Stanley Parable... I feel like because the Stanley Parable, you can actually make choices, though. 
See, the Stanley Parable doesn't really fall into that because you can actually make choices. Versus a lot of other of these fucking games, right? It's not... It has a gimmick. Yeah, it's a gimmick game. But I feel like it gives you enough of an option to do shit, in my opinion. They don't care, Pippa. Everything is created with mass appeal and mind not giving a fan base what would make them happy. True. Black Ops and Five Dollars game critics are just journals that mauled that they couldn't get into a real news outlet. I don't know. They're fucking something, man. They're fucking something. That wouldn't surprise me. The fact that so many of them are obsessed with celebrity dick riding. Celebrity dick riding and appealing to... Whatever the trendy culture is as much as possible. That makes sense. Unfortunate, but makes sense. Everybody, everybody, make sure to sub like, comment, and subscribe to low low effort clips. That's right, low effort clips right here on YouTube.com. Yeah, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah.